Hey everyone, welcome back to Bagel TCG. Today we're going to go over a viewer requested Dash Blitz profile, talking about uh, what a typical deck looks like, what her armor is, play patterns, matchup strategies, etc. <clears throat> so we're going to start with the base deck fully upgraded. Um, as always in Blitz, you have 11 slots for weapon and armor. So we've got our Plasma Pistol. Uh, pistol, which is her weapon of choice pretty much always, um, especially in Constructed and Blitz as well. Uh, she just has a lot of great uh, items to boost it. Um, we have the Achilles Accelerator, which is her boots of choice. They come with Arcane Barrier 1, which is great, and you can destroy them to gain an action point if you boost it this turn. So uh, if you boost but don't hit, which is not kind of possible in this deck because you're always going to hit. Um, but if you boost and you can use that extra action point to shoot with pistol, for example. Um, so that's a great, uh, just great boots all around. Ar Arcan Barrier one's good. Arcanite Skullcap is going to be our helm, our head of choice. Uh, it just blocks for three pretty solid. Um, we also run her Viziotronic Model I. Uh, this has Arcane Barrier 2, so if you're against Wizard, you'll probably, not probably, you'll definitely put this in against Wizard. Um, but outside of that, uh, it's kind of optional. Um, if you're against a deck that you don't think is as aggressive, right? So if you're against a control -y deck, you'll play these instead, because um, Arcanite Skullcap is only really good against other aggressive decks that are putting in damage. So this has a little more aggro potential where you can use an action to destroy it. And whenever you boost this turn, uh, you basically get a draw card and then put a card from your hand on top of your deck, right? So you can kind of filter your hand out once you're boosting. So it's good uh, when you want to go off, um, but it's only really good against Wizard and against other aggro decks, or I mean, sorry, against control decks. Gambler's Gloves are super optional. Um, you don't really need them uh, unless you are facing a lot of uh, Brute in your meta, because that's what you use them for when they roll their dice. Uh, you can make their good roll bad. Um, so Gambler's Gloves, pretty optional. If you have them, throw them in. Um, but you don't have to spend the $20 or whatever they are uh, if you don't want to, or especially if you don't have a lot of Rhinar in your meta or Levia. Goliath Gauntlet are our arms of choice. Basically, you just destroy it, and your next action with cost 2 or greater gets plus 2. You have a lot of big attacks. This makes them a little bigger. Don't be afraid to pop these on the first turn of the game, right? Extra 2 damage is great. Um, and remember to pop them before you start going off. Uh, it'll just count the next one you play that's two or more, so even if your first attack is zero, it doesn't matter. It'll just do the next one. But make sure to pop them first, because boost uh, gives it go again, so if you break the chain when you're boosting, uh, you won't have that action point anymore. We have two Iron Rot. Um, this is if you're against a really aggro deck, uh, and you just want to survive a little more. Um, so these will go in there. Uh, Another aggro deck, maybe like Chain, for example. Um, although actually, Chain, you'll probably want to you'll probably want to race Chain. But uh, if you're against a deck that you know is really aggro, uh, you'll switch out the Goliath Gauntlet that don't block and the Achilles Accelerator that don't block for so a little little bit of block. Um, Null Rune. These honestly don't really need to be in here. Uh, they're useful if you don't have a Viziotronic Model I. Um, but outside of that. Uh, they just give Arcane Barrier against Wizard. Um, like I said, if you have the Viziotronic, you're just going to keep going to switch that in and keep the Achilles, and you'll have your Arcane Barrier 3. Um, but if you don't have the Viziotronic, the Null Rune, you're fine. Uh, you don't really need all 11 of your equipment slots, so just kind of showing options. Uh, and then her Legendary Chest is uh, not a must-have, but uh, you know, amazing to have if you've got the 80 bucks for it. Uh, it has Battle Worn, which means it'll block for 3 total, which is amazing. And uh, you can use an action once per turn. Use a resource, banish the top two cards of your deck, and you gain resources for each Mechanologist card banished only if you boosted this turn, right? So once you boosted, you can use an one point uh, resources to get two points of resources because your whole deck's mech cards. Um, so, you know, you get one resource positive. Uh, sometimes if you're low on cards in your deck, maybe you don't want to do that because you will. It does, you know, you do turn your, through your deck very quickly with this card, um, but you should pretty much always use it outside of that. Going over the cards in the deck, uh, this is a very aggressive curve. Uh, we're only playing 12 blues. Um, I think I see some decks that play 14 or even 16. I don't think we need to run that many. Uh, our deck doesn't run on a ton of resources. Um, our item is Induction Chamber that lets us use a resource to give our pistol go again. This will start in play because of Dash's ability. Um, it's a great item. Uh, it'll basically let you shoot twice with your pistol for three resources. Um, and 
uh, that's pretty easy to get in this deck. Uh, so it'll basically, and you don't always have to use it, but if you if you need to, or if you won't have extra resources, uh, it lets you shoot a little extra. Um, you're not actually going to be doing a ton of shooting in this deck. Uh, shooting's kind of a backup, or if you just have spare resources. Uh, really, this deck wants to just go in with a ton of boosted attack actions. Uh, that's pretty much all you're doing with this deck. It's a very aggro deck, very simple linear lines. Um, our Majestic that's very powerful is High Octane. Uh, it costs one. Whenever you boost this turn, gain one action point, draw a card, and go again. Right? Very good card. Uh, your boosting is already going to give you an action point, right? So this gives you extra action points. And what you're going to do with that is basically just shoot with your pistol a lot. Um, so just every action point is one resource that you get to shoot for two with your pistol. Uh, so that's a lot of just shooting for two. Um, you don't need the induction chamber to give it go again because you'll have an extra action point here. So if you boost three times, you have three spare action points, and that'll be three pistol shots uh, you'll get to do, um, which is, you know, just great. Uh, extra damage is extra damage so it also replaces itself uh, so it's a great card um, this is for when you really want to go off you uh, want to make sure you have some resources to be able to do those extra pistol shots you don't want to waste those action points so when you've got a really good hand with like you know a blue and a yellow with some extra resources and then enough boost to make this go off uh, you'll want to probably do this with a five card hand when this is an arsenal or something else is an arsenal um, to really take full advantage of it We've got Combustible Courier here. Uh, we're going to go over some of the boosts now. Uh, we've got Combustible Courier. We're playing the reds and the blues. Um, it's a solid card. Uh, when it hits, your next boost attack gets plus three. Solid damage. Uh, the reds hit for four, which is our you know a key number in Flesh and Blood. Um, four gets over all the three blocks that almost every card except defense reaction is. So we're trying to hit that four number as much as possible or higher, of course. Uh, the blues are usually going to be pitched, but uh, you know they're a fine card on their own. You're usually not going to want to swing for two and pitch two for that. It's usually a little high, but it's fine. Um, high Speed Impact is a really good card. Uh, when it hits your next attack, this combat chain gains Dominate. It's just an amazing card. We're playing the blues and the reds. Um, you can play the yellows if you like, so the yellows are not bad at all. Uh, they just hit for three, which is, of course, like not an ideal damage number, uh, since that can be easily blocked by one card, uh, which is just a one for one. Once again, the blues were usually pitching. Um, if you think, you know, these are actually fine to play, because if they hit, your next attack gains dominate, that's great. Um, but of course, our reds are what we really want here, hit for four, hopefully give our next attack dominate. We kind of went over Induction Chamber. Um, maximum Velocity will go really well with our High Octane turns. Um, and it's just a really powerful card. Uh, you do probably need a 5 card hand once again to get this to go off. Because you'll need to boost 3 times to make it happen. Um, which is just a lot of resources uh, to make that happen usually. So Because this costs 2 itself, right? So you'll probably need at least like 2 0 to 60s or at least 1 0 to 60 to make that happen. And just all 1 cost, right? So if you... I'll, I'll try to show a play pattern with this. But basically, it's an amazing card. It costs 2 and it swings for 10, which is just absurd. Um, but you, ha you can only play it if you boosted 3 times at least that turn. So it's your really go-off turn. Um, if you can never make this happen, don't beat yourself up too much over it. Um, but if you can make it happen, you probably win, right? Swing for 10 for 2 is just absurd. Pedal to the metal. Um, we're only running one red because we took the other route for the item slot here. We're running two yellows. Um, once again, it hits that four damage slot that we're trying to look for. Uh, and if it hits, your next attack gains dominate. Um, so just great card. Uh, it does a similar thing to high speed impact. It costs one more, um, but it does pitch for one more, so you kind of exchange that. Uh, it's just a really solid card. If it hits, your next attack games dominate. Dominate's really good, right? We're playing all six of all of our simple boost cards, I guess you want to call it. All these cards do is just boost, which is all we really need them to do. They all hit for a lot of damage, so we play all six throttles. Uh, this is the two cost one, um, very good card. We have the one cost one, which is zipper hit, and the zero cost, which is zero to 60. The only difference is, you know, the lower the cost, the less damage, right? So the blue throttle pitch costs two, hits for four. Blue zipper hit costs one, hits for three, and blue zero to 60 costs zero, hits for two, right? These are core cards for any kind of dash aggro deck uh, playing all six of each. And uh, they're just amazing cards. You play all, all nine in Constructed, right? It's just her core package. Um, they do everything you want to do. They're, they're cheap and efficient and boost. 
Um, we're playing two a yellow overloop. Uh, this is a two cost. It hits for four, which is our, our key number we're trying to hit. Um, and if it hits, you put it on the bottom of your deck, right? You might think, why would I want to do that? Well, you turn through your deck really quickly. Um, so you could even consider playing uh, red overloops because they're pretty good. They put themselves on the bottom, which, like I said, you turn through your deck really fast because your boosting is banishing. Uh, you're really just destroying your deck, and you only have a few turns to win because of how quick you're going through it. So this putting itself on the bottom is pretty nice. Lastly, we've got the Spark of Genius Teclo Core package. Um, these can both pitch fine. You know, they're yellows and blues. Uh, the Tecla cores don't block, which is not a big deal. Um, but basically, you at the end of a chain, because this doesn't have go again, but at the end of a chain, um, you can Spark of Genius for zero, right? It, uh, you pay zero, and uh, Tecla core costs zero, so you will search your deck for a Tecla core and put it onto the battlefield, and if you boost it, which you almost definitely will, you'll draw a card, and you'll probably arsenal that extra card. Um, and then Tecla Core will enter the battlefield with two steam counters. At the beginning of your action phase, you remove a steam counter and gain two resources. Just a really beautiful synergy there. Um, two free resources is absolutely amazing. If you see this card, it also doesn't have go again, but you can just play it naturally at the end of your chain. But if you see this card in your hand, it's probably best to pitch it and wait until you can grab it with Spark of Genius, right? Um, that's that's ideal because you get that f you get it for free off of Spark of Genius and you get a draw card. So ideally, you want to just always pitch this and find it with Spark of Genius, right? That's the core of the deck. Um, I'm going to look at some uh, budget alternatives first, um, and then we'll look at some play patterns uh, real quick. Uh, so we have some a weapon alternative with the Plasma Barrel Shot. Um, this weapon's kind of fun. Uh, you'll switch out Induction Chamber to uh, Hyper Steam Conductor, I think it's called, if you're doing this. Uh, I don't think it's as powerful, but if you want to mess around with it, it can be fun. Uh, it costs two to use. And uh, it deals X plus 1 equal to times you've boosted this combat chain, so it's a little more than Plasma Pistol. Um, the thing is, usually this deck you're just using all your resources to play your action card, so usually you don't have two left over. Um, and usually you might only have one left over, so that's why Pistol's good, but it can be a fun weapon to mess around with if you want to try. Um, your expensive equipment is your Arcanite Skullcap, uh, which you'll want to replace with just a Iron Rod Helm. Um, so if you can't afford the $200 skull cap, that's understandable. Just replace it with your iron rod helm. Uh, it definitely doesn't block for as much, but it'll still block just fine. Um, like I said, gambler's gloves are definitely not necessary, so you don't need those. Uh, Visiotronic, um, once again, you know it costs 20 bucks. It's pretty good. Uh, you'll probably replace skull cap with it uh, if you have it, um, but it's also not incredibly necessary if you're playing on a budget. You'll just play your iron rod helm. Um, and lastly, I highly recommend, of course, having your legendary equipment. But if you can't get that, uh, Vest of the First Fist will do fine um, when attack action you hit. When attack action you control hits, you can destroy it and gain two resources. So for key turns, it'll get you those extra resources you need. Um, those are the budget options. Uh, honestly, the main deck is pretty cheap overall. Um, and there's not really any budgetizing this. Uh, this is like probably the most expensive card in a high octane, I think. Maybe Teclo Core, and they're like maybe five or ten bucks a piece. Um, I think this whole deck though is probably going to cost you less than forty or fifty dollars. Uh, really, the money is in the uh, equipment. Like the deck itself is very, very cheap. Um, we're going to look at some play patterns real quick. So we're going to draw our hand of four cards. Um, so for example, in this hand, uh, we're going to want to play our reds here. Uh, we have a nice blue pitch to make that happen. So we have kind of two options with this hand. Um, we're going to want to start uh, probably with our high speed impact here, because if it hits, it'll give our next attack dominate, um, which will be great for this throttle. So we're going to play, where, where do you play the cards? Um, pitch, discarded, banish. Okay, I guess we're going to play it to our banish, because I don't see where you can play it. So we're going to play uh, our high speed impact, and we're going to pitch for three here. Um, and that'll be swinging in for four. If it hits, hopefully it does, it'll give our next attack dominate. We have two resources remaining, and we'll play our throttle uh, to deal six here, uh, hopefully with dominate. Uh, you have two options with this maximum velocity. Obviously, you can't use it this turn because you haven't boosted three times. Uh, so you can either pitch it for one to use our pistol, which is not a bad option for an extra two, or uh, you can arsenal it here, which is probably what I would do. Um, keep it for later for when you can try to get a big boost to turn off, right? It's going to draw another four, do that one more time. Um, this is a solid hand. Induction Chamber actually is going to start in play. 
so this is another solid hand. All this hands, all the hands in this deck are, are going to do something, right? So they're all going to do something solid. Uh, so we're probably going to pitch for three again, and uh, we're going to use high octane here. Uh, it's always great to pretty much play that when you have it. Um, so you will draw a card. You'll have two resources remaining, and uh, you, whenever you boost a card this turn, you gain one action point, right? So we have two resources remaining here. Um, we also have a maximum velocity in Arsenal, we know. So we're going to try to see how we can do that. So we, we need to boost three times for that. I don't think we're going to get three boosts off this turn, just based on the resources we have in hand. Um, and we're not going to be able to replace any of these. So what we're probably going to do here is we're going to uh, pitch uh, Overloop uh, instead of Pedal to the Metal. It doesn't really matter because we're pitching both to Throttle. Um, and then we are going to have Throttle deal six hopefully and then we're going to pitch uh, pedal to the metal for two resources because we have an extra action point here and we'll be able to shoot twice with our gun um, the alternative is we can also just play pedal to the metal um, and that's that's a fine option as well uh, we can look at one more hand um, but I feel like it should be pretty simple deck to pilot this is a little too many blues but it should be fine um, and if you ever have too many blues just use it on your pistol right um, so this hand is going to be, you know, just going to be pitching uh, probably Combustible Courier here. Uh, we can always just uh, play 0 to 60 first, right? Zero cost hit for four. It's a great red. Um, we have three remaining, so we can do high speed impact and we can do zipper hit, and then we'll shoot once with our pistol. Another hand, um, this one is another great hand. We'll do uh, probably a 0 to 60 here. Um, and, oh, can we get maximum velocity off here? boost three times we can't quite can we it's interesting because it's so the hands so cheap you can almost do it um, so we can do max 0 to 60 here we can pitch a zipper hit and we can do uh, the other zipper hit then maybe pitch this or arsenal it and shoot once or twice with our pistol right this the, the play patterns are, are fairly simple I hoped uh, it's just a lot of swinging in and using extra resources to shoot with your pistol um, honestly you never want to block the only time you're ever blocking is if your opponent's about to kill you right if they're about to kill you you need to block if you're if they're using key cards that are gonna trigger when they hit that will probably lose you the game you need to block um, pretty much you never want to block you're using your full hand to swing pretty much every time um, you're always always trying to get in for damage so uh, you're, you're probably never blocking like I said unless you really have to and if you have to you're probably in a bad spot anyways but you know you have to do what you have to do um, I think that's almost everything right uh, we went over the deck uh, went over some budget alternatives went over some example play patterns that should be pretty simple and uh, yeah it's a great aggro deck uh, it gets in there for a lot of damage it's really simple to play but honestly I really enjoy playing it um, I'll make sure to link the deck in the comments below but yeah I hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching